Hello, this is Dr. Christy Patton Lukes, a chemical engineering professor at Missouri S&T. In this video lesson, we'll be looking at an example for filtration. Our problem statement says a calcium carbonate slurry is to be filtered in a press having a total area of 16 square meters and operated at a constant pressure drop of two atmospheres. Okay, so that's key, right, that we're going to be operating at a constant pressure drop. The frames are 36 millimeters thick. Assume that the filter medium resistance is 1.55 times 10 to the 10th per feet. So as we do this, this is our resistance to the medium, our R sub M. And this 36 millimeters thick, this will be our L value. Calculate the filtration time and the volume of filtrate obtained in one cycle. The cake density is 73 pounds per cubic foot. The specific cake resistance is given here as alpha as a function of delta P or the pressure drop. And for this, delta P needs to be in pounds per square foot. The concentration of the slurry is 14.7 pounds per cubic foot. L let me first start by just getting a couple of our things with the correct unit. So first of all, our pressure drop, or we'll be proper and put the negative, Okay, that's two atmospheres. That's going to be inconvenient to work with this when we're seeing pounds and feet. So if I uh, go to my unit converter, it is 4,232.43 pounds per cubic foot, or per square foot, excuse me, square foot. And then we also have the length, which is given as 36 millimeters. Again, if we're working in pounds and feet, this will be more convenient in feet. And so this is 0 0.11811 feet. Now we're going to need some data in order to work with this. And so among the things that we'll need, we're gonna need a value for the viscosity. So 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus fourth pounds per foot second is what I'll use. And the density, and this is, these are for our slurry. These are basically for water, uh, 62.3 three pounds per cubic feet. And as we, as we saw in the example in class, we can kind of make an assumption that M will equal two, uh, and that's based on the fact that it is calcium carbonate. What we have given to us is C sub S, and we're going to need C, and C sub S is one minus M minus one C sub S over rho. All of that is the denominator with C sub S. C sub S is 14.7, M is two, C sub S is still 14.7, and the density is our for our fluid. And so our concentration is 19.2 pounds per cubic feet. Uh, last thing, we have an area here of 16 square meters. And again, 16 square meters is equivalent to 172 square feet. So that's our basic data that we need. Next, let's look at the equations that we'll be solving. Okay, W is the area times the length, so the volume, times the density, and this is for the density of the cake because we're trying to find the weight of the cake. So we have 172 
square feet, 0 0.11811 feet, 73 pounds mass per cubic feet is the density. And so we have 1,483 pounds mass of cake. Now this is our volume, our V times C. So therefore V is W over C. C we just found was 19.2. This is pounds mass over pounds per cubic feet. So we get 77.2 cubic feet of cake that will be produced. Now, this is constant pressure filtration. For constant pressure filtration, what we've seen in class is that the design equation for the time is T is 1 half, we called it KPV squared plus BV. In this particular case, B is equal to mu times the medium resistance over A times the pressure drop. So in this case, we can put in our numbers. So we have 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus fourth pounds per foot per second. We have 1.55 times 10 to the 10th feet to the minus one power for our resistance. Area is 172 square feet, and the delta P is 4232.43 pounds force per foot squared. And so if you just plug this in, you end up with 14.05, and our units are a mess. Okay? So what we need is we've got pounds mass and pounds force. So we don't do this very often, but we've got to use G sub C. So B is going to be this, or B is 0. 437 seconds per square foot. So there's our B. Next we need to find KP. KP, again from class, is mu C alpha over the area squared and our pressure drop. So we know most of these values. So the items we know, we've got 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus 10th pounds mass per cubic foot for mu. C is 19.2 pounds mass per cubic foot. Area squared is 172 square feet squared. Delta P is 4232.43 pounds force per cubic feet. So again, I have that pounds force thing going in, so I need to use a G sub C again. And then I need my alpha. And remember, alpha was a formula. So use the formula. And it just instructed us to use delta P in pounds per feet or per cubic foot, square foot. Yeah. And our answer, it said, would be in feet per pounds mass. So if you do this, what we find is K sub P is 0 0.8 seconds over feet to the sixth power, which is odd units. But when you plug this into our formula for T, 1 half times 0 0.8 seconds per foot to the sixth times V squared plus B, which was 0 0.437 seconds over feet cubed times V. I just need to put in my value for V and I can find the time. And so V is going to be in cubic feet 
Okay, so that's going to cancel out, leaving me with seconds here and seconds here. We had calculated before that V in this particular case for our volume of cake is 77.2 cubic feet. Substituting this in, we end up with 2417 seconds. And recall our rule of thumb is keep converting to larger and larger time units until you get something that pretty much anyone would know just really what that means. In this case, uh, one minute is 60 seconds. And so this is about 40 minutes. So this concludes this example. In our next lesson, we will look at another filtration example. Thank you very much for your time.